Welcome to the channel. This is the first video on my Mazda MX-5 where I'm going to be working on it. Welcome to the first of many of my new cars. So we've got a new season, a new summer, track day's already booked for this Mazda MX-5. Um, so the first mod that I've been told is absolutely necessary for any track worker, even just longevity of this Mark III, is in fact the coolant tank reservoir. So apparently they split around the neck. When they split around the neck or down the sides, and um, they slowly leak coolant, you don't really notice, it don't give a puddle, and then your car will overheat one day and you don't need it to, especially on track, don't want that to happen. Dead easy to change. Got myself a really nice aluminium one. Um, there's only three ports on top to do, one port on the bottom, and then the cap to put back on. And it's only held in with three M6 screws. That is it. Dead easy. Let's get that mod done. And while I'm in there, I've got a little air filter to throw in as well. So the untouched engine bay of an MX-5. And all you need for this is to take those three off, which are a 10 mil and M6. And you're going to need some pliers to undo these clips. That's it. So now we can remove the hoses and the battery cover with a bit of a wiggle. Now loosen off the three M6 bolts to hold the bottle in place. You'll notice the furthest away one in this shot. That nut is on a bracket. Undo that bracket as well. It'll make things a lot easier when getting your old bottle off and your new bottle on. There's a couple of hidden hose clamps down the back to open up and then we can start removing the top hoses. Now have a cup ready as all of these spill out when you try and lift the bottle. Also, one of them hoses as you lift the bottle up, the water pressure goes back down the pipe to make one of the hoses leak, so look out for that. The bottom pipe is the stiffest of all of them, but again, not an issue. I did get provided with this uh, radiator cap, but you know, I keep that as a spare and I trust the OEM Mazda one probably a bit more. So let's mount it back up. And I saved loads of the coolant, not because I'm tight, but because it was only just changed at Mazda like a thousand miles ago. This car, full Mazda service history. So uh, yeah, I'm not chucking that away for no reason. Refitting all this is really easy, just don't break any of the plastic clips and take care not to scratch your nice new alley tank. Touch that hole up. Oh dear. Okay, no, that's a lot easier to do if you take that off. You absolute dog. Wow, what a pain that is. That thread stopping the cap going on. I have to shorten that. That's not hard, it's just annoying. We'll shorten that. Try again. So I've ended up buzzing it down with an angle grinder, put some thread seam on it. That's annoying. Little bits like that you probably wouldn't get off a proper kit. 
as opposed to a cheaper eBay one. Perfect. Possibly the easiest air filter change I've ever done. <laughs> oh, I say that. This has a up and a down. It's these little tabs. Go to the top. Um, I hope it's useful and please subscribe.